Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. Today, as you can see, I have an Erin Condren sitting out in front of you. This is my 2019 Erin Condren, and I felt like I should do a flip with you guys of how everything turned out because some of them I did not get, I did not film. So I do want to apologize if you hear my washer or my dryer going on in the background. I do have them going. So this is an Erin Condren um, elastic band that I keep on it because if not it does this and it like pops up because it's so fat. So this is the cover I picked for the 2019 year. I just loved it. I did do like a custom colorway and change it up and then I put my name on it. And then here is the back. Sorry about the glare. So jumping right in. This again was a 2019 Erin Condren that I had. So this is from, actually both of these stickers right here are from um, Bodacious Prints. She did like a special uh, for these a while back and then she did customs of her PR girls at the time. So I just stuck them both there. And then you turn and right here I had my like vision board. For the year of 2019 so um i did do actually do a lot of these uh we did plan our wedding for uh the year we got married in 2020 but we did a lot of the planning and got most of it done pretty much all of it done in 2019. Uh, i went to three different planner events in 2019. we did buy a house and actually moved in in june and then i did not reach this in 2019 but that's okay and then i did lose weight like i wanted to um for 2019 so this was my vision board the only thing I didn't do is the 500 subs but that's okay and then this was a kit from rose colored days I used I love using these kits to just mark off this is my school calendar so I use it to mark off things that I need to know for school days that we have off um, early releases um, bad weather days comp days in-service days anything like that goes in here so and this was the 2018 to the 2019 school year um, I kind of put both years on here so and then this is something that I got inspired by from Jacinia of Jacinia of the planner sophisticate she also has a shop called Jacinia printables I saw a video an old video of her doing this so I made my own I made these strips up here this year and it just says this is my year 2019 and then every month I took a highlight, like the big highlight of the month for, and put a picture down. So this is what you can see. Okay. And then for the notes page that was before, I used it for my filming. So I marked all the videos I needed to film, checked it when I filmed it, checked it when I edited, checked it when it uploaded. And then I marked um, my beginning and ending subs for the month for Instagram and YouTube got both those there and then I always do the same thing on the cover page uh, I put scrapbook paper down and then I usually use like some alpha stickers and then I decorate the page and put like the highlight photos of the month like the big things that happened that month so this was the month we actually started doing it tours for our venue which was awesome so and my I was uh, one year on YouTube that is that okay and then going into my first I will try and tell you where kits are from if I cannot remember I'll put like a little um, like something up here with the name or somewhere on the screen so this one is from Nikki plus three I use this monthly kit from her I had a goal for the year of 2019 to use a different monthly kit every single month and I was very successful in doing that I use a different monthly kit every single month and I loved it so this was a Nikki plus three kit she has changed this to where you can get a decorative sidebar sorry if you hear the train I love this I took inspiration from um, oh my goodness I cannot think of her name Oh, I'll, I'll probably think of it later but uh, I started using like washi strips in my monthly and then I did a highlight for each day so and if I didn't have a highlight as you can see I would just cover it up with like some washi or whatever 
And then this was my first week. This was using a kit from Caress Press. So you have all that. I used gold foil and I love it. I love this kit. And then what I did on my sidebar is I usually put a highlight for the month or yeah, for the week and then I put um, pictures of that week. And if I didn't have pictures, I put like deco or quotes or something like that. You'll see. Okay. Uh, I didn't have pictures this week, so I put like a big quote from Happy Planner. This was from Shop Jessica Hearts. I love this kit. I love this little box right here. This is from Sticky Essentials. This is the UIL week. It's nice to go back and see like what happened. I used rose gold this week which I don't usually do. Usually like all of my winter kits are like, like this was gold, but that's because it wasn't winter. But like all my winter kits are usually silver because I just like think of silver when I think of, you know, winter. But I actually used rose gold with this because it had like accents of rose gold in the full boxes. Okay, this is Hello Petite paper. Love this kit. I think I went and vi yep I went and visited Whitney this week because I had Whitney time. Okay, and then moving into February again, same setup that I usually do, and this is using a kit from Caress Press. I didn't use washi this month. Oh, I love her kits. Okay. Oh, I love this kit. I used the same kit this year, but I cha like she changed the colors of it. This is a kit from Pink Leaf Prints. I just love it. Okay. A kit from Nikki Plus Three. 100th day of school this week. What day was that? Right here. 100th day of school. Um, this is a kit from Saucy Stickers Co. So cute. One month till our anniversary. Some pictures. Wow. Okay, this is from a printable shop, but she also has, well, she, the, the physical shop isn't open right now, but it's Planning Choco is her printable shop. Um, I buy from her on Etsy, but I think she has a standalone shop as well. But there is that. Same setup as before. If I can turn it. This was when we went to Planner Con, and then I got my tickets for the SPC Planner Party. How exciting. And I got my first ever order from Calligraphy by Lindsay, and then she like reposted me after I shared. I still use that little mailbox all the time. Okay, this is from Little Miss Papery. Pulling in that washi again. And then this is from, I can't think of her name. It's like little, I'll just put it on the screen somewhere because I cannot remember who this is from. It's for the life of me, I don't remember. But use this for the week of planner con because it was like a planner theme kit. I saw it and I just thought it was perfect. You have like the bestie, like your tables. All the swag, the photo booth, best day ever. I just thought it was so perfect. Okay, and then this is a kit from Sticker Bloom. She has really nice paper too, but her stuff takes forever to come in. Okay. This is from oh my god goodness sweet bean plants I 
love this kit. The bottom wash was just perfect. Um, our anniversary is actually the week of this week is the week of St. Patrick's Day. We actually started dating on St. Patrick's Day. It's our anniversary. And so um, I always try and find a kit that says, you know, like lucky or something like that just because I am lucky. I'm lucky that I found him. Okay, and then this is a, another Hello Petite paper kit. I think I used gold. Yeah, gold foil. So I love the little deer. I think this kit was called like Oh Deer or something like that. Um, and this was like an overlay that I got from Sincerely D Designs and it was just perfect. Oh, sorry about that. So, so you only have one picture so I did like deco at the bottom. This is from Caress Press. I love this one because we have a dog and a cat. Love that picture. And we had one month till my birthday. Um, all these countdowns that you are seeing are from Sincerely D as well. She's a printable shop. You can purchase the items and then print, cut, and foil them yourself. Again, I only have one picture, so I added some deco and like a little quote from the Happy Planner. Again, same setup for the monthly. This was when Whitney got married. She actually got married on my birthday, so. And then we went to our first ever Stars game. It was so fun. And then here is um, my monthly from Harriet Wright Designs. You know what? I think this is from Little Paper Prints. I think. Well, it'll be on the screen on that day. So Harriet Wright Designs. Using that washi again. My monthlies get better. I'm not like, like this year, I'm loving my monthlies. Okay, here is a kit from the Graceful Planner. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of the Graceful Planner. I bought two kits from her and I used them. This was one of them and then I used another. But her foiling is very, um, I don't know. It just wasn't what I was expecting. Loved this box. Okay. And then this is a, it was an old kit when I used it from Wild Summer Designs. It was the, um, was this the premiere? I think this was the premiere of, um, oh my goodness, Game of Thrones. This is when I was still the cheer coach. Gosh, it's weird to think that I haven't been. Oh, look, tryouts. This is the week of tryouts. It's just weird to think that I haven't been the cheer coach for a year now. Okay. This, I do not remember. But I love this kit. I need to figure out where this was. It will be on the screen though somewhere because this one's really pretty. This is a really pretty Easter kit. Okay. And then um, when I had like things like this, um, invitations and stuff, I would use like the little um, things that come in so you could put that little bag in. I cut it up so you could like, I could stick it in and like save these things. This was Whitney's wedding week so I put like her invitation in here. But this is also my birthday week, so I used this kit from Squirrel Prints Co. Loved it. It was perfect. Um, we actually went to the movies on my uh, the day before my birthday. I drove home this weekend, and we went to the movies the day before, and we watched um, the Endgame, Avengers Endgame. I went with my aunt and my cousin. My cousin's birthday is actually on the 28th. I don't think I marked that. I did not mark that. So here is this, and this was the day that I asked my cousin Melissa to be in my wedding. She was my one of my bridesmaids. Okay, so here is the next month, so this is May. And then this is from um, 
my newest addiction. So pulling in that washi again as you can see. And then this is a kit from Caress Press. <laughs> I loved her kits. I've actually, she reopened here recently and I bought like three kits. No, two kits. I bought two kits. Okay. And then oh, this was a kit from Dash of Sun Designs. I loved this kit because this is one of my favorite books. Um, and I just loved how she did that on the bottom washi. I cannot wait for her to reopen as well. She's been closed for maternity leave. I think she's opening up in summer. This is just so pretty. The cute little girl and mom box. This is the week of Mother's Day. And then this is from... I cannot remember. But I will leave it linked up above. Like, I'll put the name up above. So this is so freaking pretty. I paired it with like these Sincerely Dee Designs butterfly overlays that I had and it's just so cute. The little butterflies. Oh, I loved it. I need to reprint these and use them again this year. Oh, one month until moving day. So yay. How exciting. Okay, this was Saucy Stickers Co. It was a the week that the last week of school I used the graduation kit for the last week of school because um, my kids are technically graduating to the new, to the next grade level so I like to use a graduation kit so we had um, sad day on the last day of school And then here again is my setup for the monthly, or the um, notes pages and stuff. Got my wedding dress this month. How exciting. Oh, and our uh, niece, the second niece was born. Okay, so this is from, oh goodness, I cannot, Style, style Planner. love this it was born on the 20th so I need to remember that so I can mark that for her birthday this year she'll be one a uh, lady that I work with got married our survey was accepted oh so many good things got my wedding dress we moved into our new house oh so exciting okay so this is from glam planner love this I love this one like that's my favorite thing okay and then this is from Regina laughs I loved this kit so much um, Amber had her baby shower this month Amber is Chris's um, sister-in-law Dodie got married the lady I work with nine months until our wedding this was our moving week so I used this was a mystery kit from caress press um, she did like a combo it was like spring cleaning or you could use it for like you know moving so I used it for moving and then I kept it again and used it for cleaning Oh, this is so exciting. Moved into our new house this day. I got my new dress and mom and my Aunt Mary came to see the house. It's Father's Day. This is the second kit that I got from the Graceful Planner. And this was the week that Ryan was born. She was born on the 20th. So I wanted to use like a baby kit because it was just perfect. So flipping cute. Okay. And then... This was the week of one of the ladies that I used to work with, her and her husband now, um, their wedding. So I have, again, their um, invitations. And then I used a um, mermaid kit because she loves um, the Little Mermaid. So I thought this would be 
beautiful and it goes really nice like the purples go really nice together so this is the week of her kit this was using a oh my goodness two little bees kit I just love this box it was hollow and I loved it I just loved this in there okay and then again my same setup I only have like one highlight this month just wasn't a busy month but I hit 500 on Instagram this is a kit from Lexi Kylie designs okay and then this is a kit from I do not remember. Oh, I do. Ciela stickers. I just love this kit. This kit was so flipping pretty. To mark July 4th. Okay. And then this is a kit from Dash of Sun Designs. My mom's and my brother's birthday were this month. My brother's is here. My mom's is here. So I wanted to use like this fun birthday themed kit for them from Dash of Sun. And then I had this like training this week. So I wanted to mark, just put this in here to mark it. So. This is from... Oh my goodness, why can't I think of her? It's like planning. She will be linked on the, like her name. But this is my first time to ever use a kit from her. Love this. This is when I hit my 500. I hit it, what day did I hit it? Right here. I hit it this day. The 20th. Went shopping went to the outlet mall went shopping and we went to round rock and got those like that giant donut thing this thing it's like huge it's the size of one of those boxes that you get like a dozen donuts in is insane okay and then this is from planet beautiful i used it to mark chris's birthday week so love it was so excited about this week for him I think we went gambling. Yeah, we went gambling for his birthday because that's what he loves to do. Okay, here is my setup for August. And then here is my monthly from Pink Diamond Planner. I think. I'll have the name up here, but something like that. Or Diamond Planner Co. Pink Diamond Planner Co. I just loved that. I loved like the box. It was really hard to find like a school theme monthly. But I loved this. Okay. And then here is the SPC. I did use the kit that she sent to us and we got extra boxes when we actually went. So it was perfect. I had so much to use. Um, and then I just inserted this little picture of me and Whitney from the party. This is from a printable shop. It is, was this Planet Choco? No, this was um, Paper Crown Planner. I don't have any pictures. I just put like lots of deco. Love this kit. I love sunflowers. And I just think of like sunflowers as like a fall-ish type thing. I don't know why, but I always usually use it in like August or something like that. Okay, and then this is from sticker bloom this was when we went to float the guadalupe or float the river so this was this one this was when i started using scripts oh my goodness i, I don't even realize this is what how i do my planning now and i absolutely love it because honestly this would take me forever to write everything in and to get it all looking beautiful and perfect and all that fun stuff so I started what Glam Planner did and I started doing scripts this week and I have not turned back. I love it. 
This was the first week of school. I used a kit from Squirrel Prince Co. I loved this kit when she came out with it. <coughs> Excuse me. I knew this is what I was going to use. It was just beautiful. I loved the bottom washi. I thought it was so cute. This whole kit was just amazing, especially for a teacher. You have like the grading papers. You have like your little um, checklist thing over here and like your pins and all that. Live, love, teach little bag. You have like your desk, the student's desk, like the look of the classroom. More of planner and dry erase markers. It was just so perfect. And there was more that I didn't end up using. So I didn't have any pictures this week. So I used, uh, since you get so many full boxes with the SBC kits, uh, I used another full box and then I just used this um, quote and then some deco. Again, same setup. This was a kit from Paper Crown Planner. She's a printable shop. I love this kit. This is when I started using more like, oh no, this is when I started using more washi. Yeah. I started doing the tear method too and I love it so much more than what I was doing. I use a lot this month. Okay, so here is my first week. This is using a kit from Sweet Pink Elephant. I loved this kit. Loved this kit. I just thought it was so cute. Love the colors. Um, I used some Mambi um, or the Happy Planner stickers right here to just fill up some space because I only had one picture. So, still using the scripts and I'm loving it. This was my first week to ever use um, flip box, a flip box. This was a kit from Station Stickers. Oh, this is my car. They took my car. Chris got a new truck this week. So exciting. Went on our winos tour. Had a lot of stuff happening on the, these two days. This day had a lot too. Okay. Saucy Stickers Co. again. Love this week. We had a good date night. Okay, this is from, I have no idea where this kit's from, but it will be linked up below. So far there have been plan with me's for all of these. There's a little flip up. I'll try and do like the I card for each one of these so you can like see the, go watch the play with me if you want. This is a kit from Avenue K Designs. She is no longer open but I just loved the way she did this kit. I love this clip art. I saw this clip art come out and I knew that I had to have it. I love this girl. This was Define and Flourish. Yep, Define and Flourish this week. Oh my goodness, I just love it. Love the scripts. Same setup as before. Um, I was using like, eh, not there, not there kits like I was using I would buy like just the like washi sheet of kits but then this month I just started using washi that I had and like the labels and stuff that I had and extra full boxes or half boxes and it just it worked out so much better and I like the look of it so use these little ghost from why is there a hair um I got, we got them at the Define and Flourish and they are from, um, Simply Gilded. I like the little chubby one right there. He's cute. My brother got a new truck this month. I forgot about that. Okay. So here is the monthly from Squirrel Prince Co. Something doesn't feel like it's sticking. And then this is a kit from sweet bella xoxo and this was another wedding week so i have the invitation in just in here um this was the week of his friend's wedding that he went to high school with that he's still pretty close to he was actually in this wedding and then the friend was in ours as well so there we go lexi kali designs i just loved like how dark and I don't know. And I love the florals she used. I just thought it was so, it was definitely like a Halloween kit. So I have flip ups here 
in here. I don't know where you got cut off. I think you saw this, Lexi Kali Designs. And then I just turned to this one, and this is a kit from, it's White Rose Planning. She was Sab's Planner Prince at the time, but she changed her name. She's a printable shop. Oh, I have another flip up. This was Chris Titan's first ever vet appointment. And then I had lunch with um, some ladies that I work with. It used to, one I still work with, one that I used to work with. This one I ran out of those little tab things, so it just like sits in here, but it stays in here pretty nicely. Especially since I have the band on it. And this was a kit from Caress Press. I loved how she did this. I think this was art that she drew. And then here's my little flip down. Okay. And then that's just how it looks with all that hollow foil flipping amazing okay and then here is my setup for November I found these stickers from Hobby Lobby and I started using them um, I had them for October but I forgot but I wanted to use those instead so um shop Jessica Hearts let's see this is from I loved this art and when I saw she did it in a monthly, I knew I had to have it. Oh, I loved, 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 loved this art too. It was like one of my favorite arts that I, art that I saw um, for Halloween. This is from, oh my goodness, I can't think of her name. I'll leave it linked because I cannot think of her name for some reason. I've only bought from her once because I wanted this and I like how she had like an extra box that you could add on that had like all of like the little kids dressed up and I really wanted those. So, super cute. Love it. Sticker Bloom. This was Titan's first time at the Groomers. No flip up, right? Okay. Oh, love this week too. This was Wild Summer Designs. I love like the candle. They're like my favorite. Love how I did this full box too. This is a printable from Sincerity Designs and I just put like a little, it has like a little fall banner on it. It just looks so cute over that box. Ciela stickers. I just love how she designed her like boxes. It's just perfect. And the paper she used is like amazing. Um, I had, we booked our floors this week. I think I had, I think we tried on my dress. I'm pretty sure we tried on my dress this week and I actually fit in it. So I had lost all the weight I needed to lose, but I still wanted to lose more of course. Um, we had Chris's family, like his big family Thanksgiving. And then this is moving into December. Again, use those stickers from um, Hobby Lobby. My first week, or my monthly, this is from, um, she's a printable shop, Print Petticoat Bandit. I actually got um, Whitney and Bodacious Prints to foil it for me because I can't get like my regular matte paper to foil well so she foiled it for me and sent it to me and I just loved it. It was just so freaking cute. Okay. And then here is the week of um, Thanksgiving. I actually used a kit from Print Petticoat Bandit and then I took this box from a like mini kit I guess from um bodacious prints and stuck it on here because this is the day that I decorated for our um for our house like I put up the Christmas tree and everything so I always do it the day after Thanksgiving so very cute I love this box. It's from Sincerely Designs. It says Top Turkey to me. <laughs> so cute. A lot of the overlays, I think almost all the overlays are from Sincerely Designs. This one is from S Scribble Prints Co. This one, I want to say it's from Sadie Stickers. 
these are from Sadie stickers, but these, the, oh, this one's from uh, Simply Watercolor Co. This is from Wild Summer Designs. I don't think I filmed this one. I don't know. I can't remember if I filmed this one either. But if they do have like a video, like I said, I will put iCards. You'll have like the iCard you can click on if you want to go watch them. But some of these I didn't film because I was just trying to get caught up. This is from... She was Sab Splinter Prince. She is now White Rose Planning. I love that box. Oh my goodness, why can't I think of who this is from? Caress Press. This kit's from Caress Press. This is the week we got out for Christmas break. And then this is our first week of Christmas break. And then this, love this kit. This was a kit from Paper Muse Crafts. And oh my God, it was just, it was everything. It was perfect. It's exactly what I wanted. It was like, look at these freaking full boxes. How adorable are they? So cute. Okay. And then I guess I'll show you my notes pages too. So this is like um, stickers that I wanted. And then this is video ideas that I had. And then this is, oops, I'm stuck. Um, when I pack my bags, these are things that always go with me. So I just have like a, so it's easier. Um, and then this was my cleaning routine that I wanted to do. And I did not do that. So, <laughs> oops. And then this was my goals for 2019, which I did um, do a lot of good these. Chris did find a new job. Um, he actually found a job this month, I thought. Did I not mark it? No, 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 no. He found a job before this year even started, but... And it was like right at the beginning of the year. So he did find a new job. Um, I did lose weight and get healthy. I started like trying to eat better and doing things like that. So I did do that. And I feel like I did this one as well. I did do feel like I became closer to God this year and did what I wanted to do for that. And then I just created a bucket list of some, bucket list of some things that I wanted to do. I did go to Define and Flourish. I went to the SBC Planner Party. Did not do this. Um, did that. Um, I did not do any Bible studies. I started a couple, but didn't finish. I didn't read all of them this year. Um, went to Planner Con, planned my wedding, got a new house. So I did some of those, and I still had room to add more if I wanted to. When we were looking for house for houses, I created like a house must-have thing that I wanted. Um, there was, I, and our house did have some of this. We got a fence yard. We did have two bathrooms, which is what I really wanted. And we did have like an open space. And then we did have um, a place for an office, which is where I am now. Um, these are wants, these are things that we want that were must haves that we had to have in the house. Um, I wanted a fireplace, didn't get that. We did get four bedrooms, which one of the bedrooms is actually our office. Um, we had two live-in spaces, which is what we got. And we got hardwood floors throughout, except the bedrooms. They don't have, they have carpet, but that's okay. Um, this was when I was planning for, I usually write down like, like my planners and I just, I wrote down happy planner and never finished writing for 2020, my pen tests and then coloring pages that I never use. Didn't use this because I have my phone. I did use this because I like to have somewhere to put my 20, my next year items. And then you just have the folder and then the back of the planner. So that is my 2019 planner flip. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. And I will catch you for my next video, which I think is my happy planner. So thank you so much. Bye, y'all.